Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Biscuit and Muffin are ready to read a story. Are you guys? I'm sitting in the sunshine. It's going to be a beautiful day, I hope. I woke up this morning and was hungry. What do you guys eat for breakfast usually? Do you eat bacon and eggs? Do you eat peanut butter and jelly? I like to eat pancakes. And the book I'm going to read today is called Pancakes, Pancakes by Eric Carle. Mmm, I like pancakes. Do you guys eat syrup on your pancakes? Kokoriki, crowed the rooster. Jack woke up and looked out the window and thought, hmm, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. Jack's mother was already up and busy. Mother, said Jack, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. I am busy and you will have to help me, she said. How can I help, asked Jack. Well, we'll need some flour, she replied. Take a sickle and cut as much wheat as the donkey can carry and then take it to the mill. The miller will grind it into flour. When Jack had cut enough wheat, he put it on the donkey's back and took it to the mill. Now it's a sickle. That's how they used to cut the wheat down before they had big machines to do it. Muffin's already left the building. Can you grind this wheat for me, he asked. I need it for a big pancake. First, we must separate the grain from the chaff, said the miller. He gave Jack a flail and spread the wheat onto the ground. The miller took another flail and began to beat the wheat with it. Jack helped with the threshing. As soon as there was a big pile of straw and chaff and a small pile of grain. So they beat the wheat with this to separate the grain. It's a lot of work to have a pancake, isn't it? The miller poured the grain on a large flat stone. On top of it was a round millstone connected to the water wheel on the outside. The water wheel turned round and round, turning the millstone round and round too to grind the grain into flour. At last, the miller handed Jack a bag of flour. It's a lot of work for a bag of flour. Did you guys work that hard for a pancake? <clears throat> Here's the flour, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, well, now we need an egg. Jack went to the black hen and fed, some, and fed her some grain that had slipped into his pocket while he, was, he had been threshing. Cluck, cluck, said the black hen and went inside the hen house. Then she said, cluck, cluck, once more and laid an egg. So he gave her some grain and she laid an egg. Here's an egg, shouted Jack, let's make a pancake. But his mother said, well, now we need some milk. And Jack went to the spotted cow and began to milk her. Moo, moo, said the spotted cow as the milk squirted into the pail. Here's the milk, shouted Jack, let's make a pancake. But his mother said, hmm, we need some butter. Jack got the butter churn and held it between his knees. His mother scooped the cream from the top of the milk and put it into the butter churn. Jack pushed the churn handle up and down, up and down. Finally, the cream turned into butter. Ooh, that is a lot of work. Here's the butter, shouted Jack, let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need to build a fire. Jack went to the woodshed and brought some firewood. So that's him bringing the firewood. Here's the firewood, shouted Jack, let's make a pancake. But his mother said, wouldn't you like to have something sweet on your pancake? 
So Jack went down to the cool cellar and pulled a jar of strawberry jam from one of the shelves. That's where they keep their jam. They don't have a refrigerator. They keep it cool in the cellar. Here's the strawberry jam, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. In the kitchen, Jack's mother had filled the table with the flour, the egg, the milk, the butter, and there was also a big mixing bowl, a cup, a wooden spoon, a ladle, frying pan, a plate, a knife, fork, and spoon, and a jar of strawberry jam. And his mother said, put a cup full of flour into the bowl, break an egg into the flour and stir, pour a cup full of milk over the flour and eggs and stir again until the batter is smooth without any lumps. Jack's mother heated the frying pan over the fire and added a piece of butter. The butter melted fast. Then she said to Jack, now pour a ladle full of batter into the hot pan. We have a whole recipe here, don't we? After a minute or two, she looked at the underside of the pancake. It was golden brown. Now watch, she said. I'll turn the pancake over. Ready? What do you think she's gonna do? Yeah, we'll see. Ready, shouted Jack. Flip, said his mother. Up and over went the pancake, high into the air, and landed right in the pan. In another minute or two, the pancake was crisp on the underside as well. They flipped it in the air. Delicious. Then she slipped the pancake from the frying pan onto the plate and spread some strawberry jam on it. And now, Jack, his mother started to say, but Jack said, what do you think Jack's going to say? Oh, Mama, I know what to do now. <laughs> After all that work, what is he doing? He's eating his pancake. I think I should give you guys some homework. And you guys can make your own pancakes and take a picture and post it so we can all see your pancakes. Try to do that once this week or maybe next week, right? That'd be so fun. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.